Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? So many people have been through trauma, myself included, struggle and have struggled or struggled with this idea that they are worthy of love, that they can find love, that they can be loved. And so I'm very curious, what does it mean to courageously manifest love? So I would say that to courageously manifest love means that you are on a manifesting journey of love regardless of what has happened in your past. It's you hear it all, you hear it all the time. You have the fear and you do it anyway. Or let's say you feel the unworthiness, but you do it anyway because there's something inside of you that knows that you are destined to have love just like everyone else. It is everyone's birthright. So it's taking action. It's going out there and getting what is meant for you, what is your birthright, what you deserve, what you desire, regardless of what happened in your past. So I say your past does not need to be a predictor of your future. And I can get more into victim mode, which I'll get into in my speech. It is, it's all about not staying in the victim mode. That's the courageous part of it. And that's so incredibly important. One of the things that people know I talk about all the time is do it scared. There's rarely a time in my life where I'm not terrified, where I'm not in my head about something. And it's really interesting because I'll just stand on like the edge of the cliff and I'll look down metaphorically, of course. I'm like, I'm jumping. I don't, if I fall, I'm going to figure this out. And I think that so many people just get transfixed in this idea that because they're falling, they can't ever grab the ledge and hold on or pull themselves back up or be able to do it anyway. And one of the things that I'm curious about, you, you wrote this really beautiful quote. I love this. And we put it on the website, actually, because I thought it was so powerful. I want to know what this means to you, because I think people feel like what I'm about to read isn't true. And I want to know your thoughts. Okay. And you wrote this. We put this on the website. If you have not signed up, guys, before I read this, go to unbrokencon.com. We are just a couple days away from this amazing conference. We're going to help you transform your trauma into triumph. It's absolutely zero dollars to watch live starting December 13th. And if you cannot make it live or if you're like me and you go to live events and you always have a million things happening, you can join our VIP experience and keep the recordings for life. So all that information is on unbrokencon.com. So make sure you go register while we still have spots available. So Jamie, you, you wrote this quote and when I read it, it hit me and I was like, oh man, I really love this. You sent this to me and it's healing is available for everyone. My goal is to teach people they don't have to suffer and they can have everything they desire in life. I know that People may be feeling like that's not true or you're full of shit or who does this person think they are, especially saying they don't know where I've been. What does that mean to you? Yeah. When I say I don't care where you've been, that doesn't mean I don't care. My heart. First of all, we've all experienced some sort of trauma in our lives. Every single person has experienced some sort of trauma. Mm -hmm. And when I say I don't care where you've been, what I mean is it doesn't matter where you've been. This is about what are you going to do with the rest of your life? My dad said something to me recently, which was so interesting, and it applies to this. It's the fact that people that feel that they have died or they've lost their soul because of trauma, et cetera, or because of anything, or just they're depressed. The question is, did it kill you? It didn't kill you. But will the future kill you? Yes. So you will literally, your life literally will be over in the future. But what are you going to do until then? And life is short. Sometimes people feel like giving up. They feel unloved. They feel unworthy. So my job is, and has always been, when people say, how do you, what do you do? How, what do you do? My first answer is always, I help people not suffer anymore. And I help them see what, like I said before, what is meant for them. And everybody, first of all, love is why we live. And I will definitely get more into that during my talk. But love is why we live. And I don't care if you haven't had love yet. It's still destined for you. And I will help you get there.